Now back to Inside West Virginia Politics with Mark Curtis. They've been sharing a lot of their songs, a lot of their culture. They're learning how to say certain phrases and words in other languages. Um, we've seen how to, how to work together even though we have language barriers. And welcome back to Inside West Virginia Politics. We are having a great time at the World Scout Jamboree here in Fayette County at the Bechtel Summit Reserve. Uh, I am so thrilled to introduce our next guest. He is Colonel Mike Fossum, an Eagle Scout, an astronaut, and one of the guys who helped design the International Space Station. It is an honor to meet you. It's great to be with you here today. This is terrific. What has this been like for you? What, you were an Eagle Scout, so sure. obviously scouting was, uh, meant a lot to you, but you've worked yourself up through the ranks uh, in the Air Force and at NASA and flown in outer space and you've uh, helped design the space station. How did being a scout get you to all of that? Oh, the, my, the whole dream of flying in space started when I was a scout. I was 11 years old when we landed on the moon and I me remember walking out into the backyard that night, looking up at that moon with two Americans on it, just standing there, letting it soak in. And it's almost impossible to conceive, although we followed the missions closely, our families, you know, we all did back then. About six months later, it was winter time, and I remember laying on my back on a Boy Scout camp out as a campfire died down, and I was looking at a million stars in a clear winter night overhead, and suddenly it hit me. It became personal. It was almost a voice speaking to me. It said, I want to go there. I want to do this too. And that really set the whole course for my life. Now, it was an impossible possible dream for a kid who grew up on the Mexican border in South Texas. Uh, my father didn't go to college, but that did spur me to, to learn, to grow, to, to work a little harder in school. I wasn't the top of, you know, of any, any of my schooling, but I was always leaning forward in that direction. You, you've done well. I get chills here and you tell the story because we just celebrated the 50th anniversary of yeah. the moon landing. Not to date myself, I'm a year younger than you, so I remember yeah. it very well. Uh, Neil Armstrong, uh, if I'm not mistaken, was an Eagle Scout, correct? Absolutely. Uh, Jim Lovell, I don't know about There were, there were yeah. many Eagle yeah. Scouts, Neil Armstrong, probably the most famous and, and just a beautiful human being. He actually called the National Jamboree on the way to the moon. We had a, a U.S. National Jamboree going on and he talked to a scout from the spacecraft on the way to the moon because he wanted to connect with the Boy Scouts on that journey. That scout is here as a, as a, uh, as a volunteer this uh, at the World Jamboree wow, right now. That's an amazing story. And I should point out, you're not the only astronaut that's been here. I think there have been a couple others you over, the, over the course of two weeks. And, um, you know, I, I, do a lot of the scouts come running up to you? They see the, 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 oh, the, the, the NASA uniform and they, 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 you, you know you're an astronaut. But, I bet you're, you're like a magnet. There's nothing subtle about wearing your flight suit, you know, into a crowd like this. And, and I don't do it. I, I, it's not for me. It, but they, so many scouts, and I've talked to hundreds of them, and I look forward to talking to hundreds more while I'm here, uh, they, they will have the chance to say I'm an astronaut. And to them, it's a really big deal. I sign autographs. I've got some things I hand out to them, so they can they can always carry that away. I've never been to a World Jamboree, though. This is amazing. I've been here to this property for the National Jamborees we've had here, but the World Scout Jamboree is amazing. All of these countries working together, figuring out how to live together, making friends across the globe, and to me, it, it actually ties into what I what I did at NASA as you know as a commander of the International Space Station eight years ago, working with an international crew. We had language barriers. We had cultural differences. It, and, and, you know, we even had some things we had to work through. But we, we did so, and we moved from tolerating to accepting, respecting, and all the way to friendship and what I would really call love. This jamboree is the opportunity for these scouts from around the world to make friends. Not a, Many of the countries here have disagreements on the national or the world stage, but here they're all scouts. And they're all enjoying this adventure, this experience together. And for the rest of their lives, they're going to go out knowing people in dozens of countries around the world that they would never have had a chance to meet. So they've got a connection. When they see something in the news, they're going to think about their friend that's in that far off place. Yeah. And they're also going to think about being inspired. And you're one of the most inspiring people I've met here. Uh, an astronaut designer, one of the designers of the International Space Station, uh, a colonel in the Air Force. Again, we want to thank Colonel Mike Fossum for joining us. Uh, great stories. 
stories about uh, outer space and NASA and, and wonderful things, and a lot of it you owe to Boy Scouts. I absolutely owe it to Boy Scouts, and, and just congratulations for the amazing international team that has put on this yeah. jamboree. It has been just spectacular, yeah. and uh, everybody is so happy. It, uh, we're changing lives here. Thanks, Tens Mike. of thousands of young people here are going to be ambassadors, and I pray that they will be leaders in their country in uh, 30 years. I should have mentioned, again, he's an Eagle Scout as well. Mike Bossom, thanks for joining yeah. us uh, on Inside West Virginia Politics. We'll have more after this break. Stay with us.